This is Pitching It With Ben, episode number one. On this podcast, my goal is to share all the great personalities and amazing stories that women's golf is just absolutely full of. Too many times women's golf is pushed to the back burner. Amazing athletes not given their due. I think it's way past time that we hear their stories about life and golf. And I can't think of a better way to start things off than with two of the funniest, charismatic, and best golfers I know, Annie Park and Megan Kang. We talk about their friendship and how it began, team events, including their experience at the 2019 Solheim Cup, life on the LPGA Tour, and of course, <laughs> there's there's some friendly banter throughout. I had a lot of fun talking to these two, as I always do, so I hope you enjoy episode one. And don't forget to subscribe, like, rate, or comment, depending on how you're listening to this podcast. Thanks for listening. I'm at the golf course. I chose to walk so I could talk talk to you guys for this interview. Uh So, yeah, you guys mean a lot to me right now. Thank you, Annie. Really? No worries. I've sent you how many snapchats and texts and like you don't respond that's how much i mean to you (laughs) look i've moved on to different hobbies okay (laughs) oh i'm sorry did i need to talk to you (laughs) you were my one-time hobby megan i need to tiktok her that's why oh i moved on from tiktok now i'm on guitar (laughs) oh my gosh i heard some rumors about this guitar Oh, yeah, so I got a new guitar uh, two days ago, so I've learned three songs. Three? Um, without, <laughs> without knowing the notes. <laughs> so I have no idea what I'm playing. <laughs> so if someone asks me, oh, like, what are the chords? Or, like, not the chords, but what are the notes? I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I have to go, I have to backtrack and learn are, from step one. What are the songs? Bellyache, Ocean Eyes, and Best Part by her. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You so, actual you know, notes. no, I don't. <laughs> I've just been on YouTube like for five hours, just like strumming. And then, like, I realized after one full day of doing the, doing the guitar, you're not supposed to strum like all of the, all of the, the strings. There are certain strings that you don't play. I was like, what the hell? And why are they on the guitar? So, so that's what I said. So I was like, I just spent a full day strumming the whole thing. And I'm like, why does it sound weird? So like, it's kind of hard teaching by yourself how to play the guitar. Okay, so how did you guys meet? That's what I want to know. I don't know that story. I don't know why. You know, we met on Tinder. <laughs> I was Bumble. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought it was. I thought it was Tinder. Was it Bumble? But anyways, um, I was debating to swipe her left, but then um, I was like, "Come down." I saw her puppy, and I was like, (laughs) "Right." (laughs) So yeah, that's how we met. (laughs) But I really don't. Oh, we met in uh, Beth Page. We met at Beth Page because Annie played in the local tournament, like in the Northeast, where I mm-hmm. usually play in. And we have one event that goes to Beth Page. And so like, obviously Annie from New York, she played in the event and I played in the event. And I think she beat me. No, I don't think so. No. You came down, you played at Beth Page a couple times in Eisenhower. Yeah. You came like more to my neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, see, so yeah. much effort. Yeah. So much effort she in the relationship. <laughs> Do you see yeah, this? I went me. to her. I see you. Yeah, she she came into my neighborhood just to get that first win. <laughs> it was brutal. It was brutal? What what age brutal. what age were you guys? Like Um I had to be like what? Thirteen? You're young. Twelve yeah, or thirteen. I think I was like 15 or 16. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah, Megan so. looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> Annie's hair is just a different color. <laughs> really? 
I mean, Other than like, that, he's the same. <laughs> oh we haven't gained so much. <laughs> so wait, you were playing the same tournament? So Megan was playing up? No, so for us, like, um, we didn't have, like, a ton of girls. So mm-hmm. the tournament series always had, like, an open division for girls. Oh. So then, like, we, we were paired up in that group, and then, like, we just kind of met. And I think it was more so, like, our parents hit it off more so than we did first. So we would yeah, just go we to like, dinner together focused. and stuff like that. I got you. So did you guys even – did you play together or, or no? We did. I think we, we always played play together, together whenever we went down. Yeah. At least one round. Mm-hmm. And sure. then – so when did you guys realize you were going to be, like, best friends? When we went on tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It took us, it took us um, over five years. It's because, so... Well, like, the age the only difference, time, too. Yeah, that was the big thing, was because the only way I would have been, I, I would have gotten carried out with Megan was only that event. But if she played, like, AJGA, like, we, she would get on the AJGA, and then I would go to college. Yeah, because I didn't yeah. play AJGA until, like, my junior year of high school. So I was like yeah. six, 17, 16, 17. Yeah, and then I went to college early, so we barely met in the AJGA. And then, yeah, I don't even think, like, we... Because, like, Annie got her card from the Symmetra, and then I went to Q-School. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, like we never really even... saw each other. And even our first year, we never really um, got paired up, except for, like, one time. We really then, got paired uh, up. We rarely saw yeah. each other. Uh, yeah. I was always with my dad. Um, I was with my mom. Yeah, I mean, like, mm-hmm. I don't know, how did, like, when did we get so close on tour? I think it was Asia, no? No. No, I think it was About before two years that, ago. no? We have great memory combined. Like, if you couldn't tell, this is great. No. Short term memory. But it was, yeah, we started getting close, like, when we got on tour. Yeah, for sure, when we got on tour. Um, Yeah, because I didn't see you until, so the last time I saw you on our, before our rookie year was junior days. mm Mm-hmm. So, yeah. That was a long time. I knew Allison, um... Like, I, I would always talk to Allison more than Annie because, like, mm-hmm. Allison would hang out with, like, Jess and them. And I, I would just yeah. – I was close to Jess because of Nellie and, and them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was closer to, like, the Korean group. So. I mean, I think those are the cool friendships, though. Well, granted, yeah. once we become uh, adults, it's not necessarily like, hey – do you want to be friends and hang out every, like, <laughs> like it's more of a, just a transitional um, kind of Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, okay. I choose you to be my friend. It's too no, funny. I don't really know when we, like, got close, though. That's cool. Mm-hmm. You guys just, you just started to gradually hang out more. Maybe mm-hmm. your, maybe your parents reconnected. <laughs> saw each other at the tournaments or something. No. Wait, who? When no. did you get your dog? When did Annie get your? When did you get your dog? I got him twenty eighteen. So twenty eighteen December. Okay, because you know oh, yes, he's almost two. Dogs are are player magnets or people magnets. You bring I'm a dog. So you bring a so dog. Are you trying to say that I got a dog and I got more <laughs> friends? Wow, savage. <laughs> Ouch! Oh my goodness. That is, that is uh, not what I'm saying. It's not I what I'm a saying. Magnet, Annie, okay? do you need some ice for that burn? <laughs> that was that was a low key like hit. That was a low <laughs> shot, below the belt that shot. Was a low key hit. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I mean, sure. Maybe maybe a little bit. <laughs> I'm just but. Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! wow. I mean, the first time that I saw, decided to talk to you was actually when I saw your dog. I'm just kidding. Unbelievable. 
I'm just Unbelievable. kidding. I'm I am just kidding. learning new things today. <laughs> that I'm is just unbelievable. kidding. I'm just kidding. Nong da mi yo. Ani yo. Definitely not. Wow. Wow. I'm just gonna be silent <laughs> for the rest of this interview. <laughs> okay. I'm I, sorry. This is an honest question. This is not to throw shade. <laughs> it might sound like I'm throwing shade, but it's just an honest question. <laughs> How do you see concerts? <laughs> like, can you see? Unless you get the front row scene. But... So, so you know what I do? Oh, 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 wait, you gotta tell Ben about the Vegas trip. <laughs> when we went to go watch the circus show. Oh. <laughs> so, so we're in Vegas and we were watching, um, what show was it? I think it was like Abstin. It's called Abstin. I don't know what it was called. Um, anyways, it was like in a little tent, and so like the seating was just like standard chairs, mm-hmm. and our seat was like it was a good seat. We were three seats deep, and like we went to our seats, and this guy is sitting in front of me, and he's got a massive cowboy hat on. Like okay, out of know, all the people, we had really good seats. <laughs> yeah, we had like really good seats. And the one guy wearing a cowboy hat is sitting in front of me. It's like, I'm constantly, like, pivoting my head, like, I'm getting, like, a neck sore, and I'm like, oh. And, like, the best part was, like, the uh, MC or whatever, the person, like, doing all the introductions for the uh, acts was like, oh, and this poor girl can't see because, like, this, this asshole won't take off his hat. And, like, the thing is, he didn't take off the hat after that either. He still kept it on. So, um, in conclusion, Megan barely saw the show. Uh, yeah, I had to keep going, like... <laughs> <laughs> so, Annie, was it a good show? It was a great show. <laughs> See, I take my phone, though, and I just, like, hold it up, and I'm like, okay. I'll see you later. <laughs> Oh, wow. so funny. I want to talk about some these two team events that you guys took part in last year. So you got okay. Solheim Cup and Dow. So mm-hmm. we'll start with Dow because it was first. Who asked um, who? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I guess I asked Megan. Uh, actually, actually I, was, I was the second choice for Megan. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I was a second choice. Your response, Megan? (laughs) (sighs) No comment. Because it's the tarot. No comment. Well, because, like, Nellie and I always talked about playing an event together. But then I obviously knew Jess would not let that happen. So I was like, Nellie's out. And I was like, ooh, Annie, let's play. Hey, to be fair, I played Junior Solheim Cup with Nelly, and we always talked about being partners for a team event. Yeah, I know. I know that. I'm just See? Kidding. Don't make me sound like a bad person. I got you. <laughs> but you still, but you were like, Annie, Annie. Yeah. Annie, no, can you ask, can you ask me, though? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> how it happened. No, it wasn't. It was more of like, Annie, are you playing the event? I think I asked you. Well, okay. okay. I asked Annie. Annie did. Even if you did ask me, you know that um, Instagram video that we were supposed to do? She was, I, like, okay. she was like, "You're. can we make it look like you asked me? <laughs> I was like, sure. <laughs> so yeah, that's how it happened. It was mutual. Okay. So yeah. I'm not remembering. Was there like an actual official like promposal-esque ask? Or are you guys just like, we're teammates? Mm. Oh, well, I wanted to do the song, like a music video, but then she was like, this looks wrong. So we ended up not doing a video. Well, can you imagine both of us taking it seriously? Yeah, probably not. Not long enough to get, (laughs) not long enough to even get 30 seconds in, so. (laughs) Well, actually, it was pretty funny. Uh, When we got, when we got notified that our first event is going to be Dow, 
Uh, <laughs> I messaged Megan, and I didn't realize I didn't reply to her last message. <laughs> Anyways, I ignored it and said, hi, partner. <laughs> and I said, I've been practicing, have you? <laughs> I was like, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> So, so you're teaming up again? That's the plan? The meanie is back. Yeah, meanies. Never left. Meanies? I think, I think we should do a different song this year. Oh, we're for sure doing a different song. Oh, for sure. We gotta, we gotta brainstorm now. We Work can't, on our like, uh, we got two months. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah. oh no, and then, like, people are gonna think that we need to choreograph another, like, dance. It's not choreographed, like, please, people. We're just so in sync. We are. Every time, even, like, when we're, like, just dancing together, we're, like, doing the same dance. <laughs> you should see some of the car rides. Uh-oh. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. So, the, ce the celebrations that became so... Actually... That's where we're like, we really connected more whenever we uh, started. Oh, the whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Annie would make a putt and I'd be like, yo, Annie, catch. And she'd be like, oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd see you and we're like, Ben, catch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Megan, I'm going to throw it. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know, like, that event, I think everyone was having a lot of fun, but I don't know if anyone was having more fun than you two. Yeah, we were borderline, not serious, but we had to be very serious. <laughs> we were very serious. <laughs> yeah, we, we kept it light in a very nerve-wracking moment, which was pretty, pretty good. You were pretty no, serious I, on that, I, um, that putt exchange. Oh, my <laughs> Okay, so that tournament i was like eh, with my putter and so great yeah, timing you into the got tournament with like three putters yeah so i got a new putter that week the dow and i was like mega i think i want to put in this new putter and she looked at me like you're putting fine with the other one like what's wrong with this new but one? as a nice like, supportive partner i was like okay whatever you, you think you're gonna put best with yeah, she was very supportive, and then um, I ended up putting pretty good with that putter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see you. So, mm -hmm. We support each other. <coughs> so then, you guys got to team up again, or play on the same team at Solheim. Mm -hmm. What was that like? How was that, that whole experience? It was so much fun. Mm -hmm. I think we had like, a great team, too. Yeah, I'm really glad that you were my first partner for Solheim <laughs> because we've heard so many like scary stories on like the first key jitters and like um, like some players throwing up and things like that. So like both of us hearing that, we were like freaking out and then um, we didn't, it wasn't the outcome that we wanted, but I think we handled it pretty well with the nerves. Well, like, the best part was, like, we both, like, got to the first tee, and we were, like, like talking to each other, and we are like, this isn't so bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I think it was because we, you know, kept each other, like, hyped up and, like, kept it a little bit light, mm. um, because you don't want to be so nervous and, like, let the nerves kind of overtake you. Um, yeah. So we did it pretty well. But, no, I'm super happy that, like, Annie was my first partner, because... Again, like, we are, like, very close friends and stuff like that before anything. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't, like, yeah. having, like, someone I didn't necessarily know too well. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, someone that, like, I could always be myself with and just mm -hmm. no matter what. Like, we were partners earlier in the year, so it's, like, we already knew each other's game as well. Right. So it's, like, was a level of comfort. Yeah, and yeah. even, like, we, we were comfortable to play our own game even when we were teammates. So it was, um, it was definitely more fun because sometimes, like, if you're playing a, like, playing those uh, format with a partner, like, you don't want to let your other partner down, and so you feel like more pressure on top of that. But like, we supported each other; it was very comfortable, um, and I think that was like a huge key, like, to be being partners. 
Yeah, and I feel like your whole team, like both your caddies, like you guys are all all know each other pretty well. Like you spend time together, I think. And yeah, I think like, our team is very close. Mm -hmm. So that had to to help too. Like you know, not neither of you had like new caddies or something like that. It was you know a big moment, but you guys had quite a bit of support around you. I mean, from each other, from your caddies. Yeah, for sure. What was your favorite, if you can decide and have one, your favorite on-course memory from that week? From Solheim? From Solheim, Annie, yeah. You first, Annie. <laughs> on course? Oh. There's a couple, though. Okay. Like, with Megan, I think the first tee, like, experiencing that with Megan was definitely memorable because you know it's your first Solheim first tee like jitters and, and well we were alternating so I had to tee a lot but um that was definitely one of them um when I had to play the second day the weather was horrible the weather was so bad um but there's just a lot of great great memories I'm seeing Megan win her match um, coming down to the last hole, that was pretty cool. Did you have? You nice. have. Have. But it was a good half. It was a really good half. How about you, Megan? First, so I played alternate shot each day, so I never had a first tee shot. And I finally got the singles match. And I finally got to hit the first tee shot. And, like... It's, like, the funniest memory I have of, like, that week. Like, personally. Like, if it's just, like, by myself memory. Funniest memory. As I'm, like, stepping over the ball and someone goes, you take that club and you spank that ball. And I literally could not stop laughing that I had to back off the ball. I looked up at the crowd and I go, thanks. And I still couldn't stop laughing. And, like, I redid my routine got over the ball and like I striped it and I'm still laughing and like my caddy Kurt's looking at me like were you laughing over the shot and I'm like yeah it's hilarious was it a, was it a team USA fan yeah for, it was a team USA fan which is like even funnier and like when I was walking off the team I looked back to see what it was and it was like an, it was like an older woman too and I was like dying I could not like I couldn't hold it in the chants were pretty funny. They were, like, I loved all the chants. Yeah. So, like, that reminded me of the second that I was playing with Ann Van Dam. But I guess they, like, call her Annie. So <laughs> all I heard was, like, go Annie, go Annie. I'm like, oh, they're so nice. They're, like, chanting for me. And then I realized they were wearing blue. <laughs> they were cheering for Anne. I was like, so, you know, self-absorbed, like, oh, you know, I, I've got some, your, you know, some fans out here who <laughs> kind of look at all your opinions. Uh, that's that's awesome. I mean, that's a good mindset to have, though. It's like, they're just cheering for me. I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not worried so about funny. it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Do you have any uh, favorite off-the-course stories, memories? that are appropriate to share? Megan? <laughs> you said filter. appropriate to share. I know, filter. <laughs> um, oh, so I had bought a onesie, like a onesie suit for like a team bonding moment to wear to like one of our meetings. And I wore that to our, our team room it was so hot. Well, didn't you feel like it was a little fast paced? Like what? we had a packed schedule that week. It was so, so much. Um, yeah. It wasn't like, like a morning, ton of free time. Yeah, like morning to night we were very busy. Well, so like um, I'm gonna be honest. The first day of salon practice, I didn't realize that like once our practice time was over. Like, we had everything back to back to back to back planned. And I was like, wait, I need to go shopping. I need to go gift shopping. 
Yeah. So then Annie oh, and I no, would we like shopping together. sprint to like the shopping area. <laughs> yeah. And then like you could see like the like we're in our like USA gear and people are like looking at us like are you two players? Like what are you two doing here? And we're just like Yeah, oh, we're and players. Then, <laughs> and then remember we met a new friend. Very <gasps> it was a mini pony. It was so cute. So yeah, we asked the pony, do you want to be friends with us? <laughs> and you said when you're an adult you don't do that anymore. <laughs> I never mind. <clears throat> No comment from me. That's that's fine. I think we can all do that. <laughs> no, it was um, it was like jam packed, but like, I'd be like Annie, I want to go to the gift shop, and Annie's like, oh, I want to go, and then we were just like, okay, let's go, and then Annie's like, oh, I'm already going. I was like, okay, I'll meet you there. <laughs> yeah, it was so like fast paced. My favorite part was taking a bath. Me too. That's the like only thing to decompress. Like, Annie and I would both be like, let's. Like, we're going to take baths. Like, you go to your room, I'll go to my room, and then we'll meet in, like, an hour. Like, there were nice. times where I had to drop some stuff for Megan, and <laughs> she was during her bath time. <laughs> she was like, get away! I was like, go away! <laughs> Another time! <laughs> um, but yeah, bat, like, the hotel rooms were so nice. So nice. So nice. Like, there was a heated towel rack. I know. That's so cool. Whoa, flashbacks. Okay, we'll talk about tour life a little bit real quick. Your top three favorite tour stops. Your top three courses on tour. Favorite stop based on course. I mean, you can go first. <laughs> Kings Mill. That's a good one. I like, okay. I like Kia, but at the same time, I don't. I, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I love San Diego. Like, so I love it, but at the same time, I don't think it loves me. <laughs> it's a, like, quirky course where, like, it's kind of tough. It's tough. It's for sure tough. It's the, I want to, it's one of the most elevated courses, like, we have, like, uh, like, slope-wise. Blank. Mm -hmm. We don't get a lot of those. You know that hole from the par five to the par three? <laughs> oh, yes, oh. Annie, from the par five to the par three. Like, which one? <laughs> There's only one huge uphill that you walk straight up. From. Okay, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. But every time, I, I really hope that I don't birdie the par five because I don't want to see how it hurts. <laughs> it's like a legitimate, like, a hike. I sprint up that. I am out of breath. I and sprint then, up that's it. Part three, it's uphill again. Mm -hmm. So I wish well, we had a, a shout out. I um, I had an anklet one time, and like I was running up the hill, and like my leg had like flexed, and like my anklet went pop, and I was like, oh no. So I lost my anklet. Sorry, Megan. It's okay. <laughs> so that's two. You got one more. Annie, you you pick your three right now. Um, I mean, I guess it's shop, right? I guess. <laughs> you know, um, knock on wood, they say like the uh, the bugs are really bad there. Mhm. Mm but I've gone pretty lucky with them. You so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably the first bugs day are one. so bad. <laughs> we're like, we're like, wee. Ew, she's stinky. <laughs> That's not what I meant, but okay. Um, um, this is hard. I do like the San Francisco, like Merced course. Oh, I yeah, enjoy it. Really I really do enjoy that course. The good last course. You got. <laughs> you got. Let's see, there's the Florida courses, California, Michigan, Asia. Oh, yeah, there's Asia. Yeah. I want to say LA mm. um, because I, I played, um, that was one of our home courses in college. So just got used to the course. So I'll say that was one of my favorite. Megan? It's good. 
Good three. I think I'm going to go with Arizona. Wow. That course is so much fun to me. Megan likes birdies. Yeah, that course is so much fun to me. And the views, the views are nice too. I mean, mm. someone takes pictures. Mm. Like all the oh. backdrops. We have the cactus, the cacti, cactuses, mountains. Yeah. It is actually really That's pretty good. during sunset. Actually, I want to change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to say Evian. Ooh. I'm going to take out LA and Evian. It's a really uh, picturesque course. Ooh, Evian. Evian's nice. fun. That's a love hate one too for me. That is, yeah. Okay, so. I, wish that, I do wish we had more courses played in like the Northeast. Mm -hmm. There's so many great golf, golf courses in like Massachusetts, like Long Island. That's true. Get some more. Not that there's a bias or anything for from you two as far as like being close to family and uh, and stuff like that, but. There are a lot of great golf That's courses over there. All we do is find sponsors. Yeah. I will say, well, like, Megan, you've played some golf courses on Long Island. Like, I don't know if I'm a little biased, but I love playing, like, golf courses in the Hamptons. The U.S. Just Am that was held um, there two years yeah. ago was really good. Nassau. Mm. It's, like, good food. It's close to the city. Like, um, golf courses are, like, Tip top shape. Prime. Even the public courses. So. All right. Well, you guys have several more years on tour. You guys can drop drop some influence in there. Okay. See what can happen. Okay. Okay. So the next one is top three stores, top three tour stops based on food. Oh, that one's easy. <laughs> that one's so easy. LA, San Francisco. Um. <laughs> I'll, let's just do states. Okay. Do states. Okay. Like all of California. California. <laughs> Portland. That's a city, but yes. Um, Oregon. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna just hang up on you, Ben. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, I guess California. Oregon for Oregon. me. I'm like iffy on Oregon. Oh, and Arizona. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go California, Arizona, and Korea. Oh, if we're uh, gonna go out of country for sure. Well, you said tour Korea. stop. You are the one who <laughs> limited it to. Oh, this is a hard category for me. You said this is so easy. <laughs> I don't. It's okay. I'm going to add Korea and Taiwan and Japan. <laughs> okay, so we're leaving the U.S. That's good. I was like, are you really, like, Asia is getting totally left out of this? Like, okay. uh, don't oh, worry. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <gasps> I totally forgot. Din Tai Fong. Oh, but that's yeah. in California, too. That's in California, too. Megan can crush Din Tai Fong. <laughs> I love Din Tai Fong. Oh, see the thing about California is that you can totally get really good all of those that like top level of everything. Uh, pretty much. The last category for tour stops is top three based on airports. Ooh, um, Korea. Korea. I'll just say Korea. Um. Hmm. In the States, I gotta say, I like Tampa. Tampa. Three tour stops, airport, airports, right? Yeah, because I know some of them are very frustrating. It is, yeah. Some of them are pretty, like, smooth. And being someone that are uh, people that carry lots of bags, like... Portland's kind of easy, no? I haven't traveled to Portland that much. Yes. I'd say, like, Michigan. Oh, Michigan's pretty good. Detroit. Pretty easy. Detroit. Mm -hmm. So mine are Korea, Detroit, and Tampa, my top three. Not in that order. Just in your top three. Yeah. Those are my top three. I think mine's going to be Arizona, Phoenix, 
Um, I'm like iffy on for that because I can't remember, but I remember it was kind of easy. See, but and I don't like Arizona because you have to go off site for the car rental. You do? Yeah. Huh. But it's really easy. Like, I get my bags really quick. Yeah, but the thing is, it's like, it's such a long line every time I get there. Like, to get onto the shuttle to the. Um, How do I not remember that? You got that VIP treatment when you're in Arizona, Annie. Food's bomb. I think that's why I favor Arizona right now. <laughs> I am willing to go off-site for rental car for food in Arizona. I think Detroit's off-site too, but it's also really easy. Yeah. I, I like airports where my bags are coming out pretty fast. Me too. You want to wait a long time. Have either of you have either of you had a bad experience uh, with like golf clubs being forgotten or? Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> For sure. I lost them back to back weeks. I lost it like the week of the open, I think, too. It's pretty common though. Mm -hmm. Especially when there's a lot of players on the same flight. Yeah. yeah. I have. Um, I've done a couple of interviews with a couple of JLPJ players. Actually, mm -hmm. Megan, um, Amy, Amy Koga. Yeah. Yeah. We talked for a while a couple of weeks ago, and she was like, "Oh, Megan, I played junior golf with her." I think that's what she said. She's from but, Hawaii. Like, she used to live in Hawaii. Did yes. Amy go to Washington? I think so. She did. She started at Washington, and then. Um, mm -hmm. Finished at, well, not finished, spent three months at Hawaii and then went to the, she earned status in Japan, so she went there. But anyway, she's adorable. <laughs> she's really nice and she's really funny too. And she has some good stories. But like, and also I talked to um, Casey, Casey Komodo. Komodo, yeah. And wow. she talked about her experience in Japan. Okay, the clubs, like, how they get their club, they have a service that delivers the clubs to the next tournament. And, yeah, a lot of and it's only like a three day event too. Yeah. And so they that don't even so have to nice. have, they don't even have to have uh, like bags for the, or uh, travel cases for the clubs. Like, and they're just there at the course waiting for them when they get It's there. so cool. It's like a three day event. And then like Japan's so small that they all go home for like a day or two. And then they like show up and they play. Yeah. Yeah. I'm jealous. jealous. It's nice. It's it's not it's definitely not the like traveling of the LPGA, but you know, there's pros and cons to, to both both tours, so But um I heard that's why like not a lot of like um players on the Japan tour like don't mind staying on the tour. Yeah. A lot of KLPGA too. Yeah, very similar there also. Because um, the sponsorship is a lot, like, it's, I guess they get paid pretty well. So, like, even if the purse money, even if, even if the purse money is not that great, you get, like, I heard, like, if you win a KLPJ event, you get in a, like, a, an apartment in Korea. <laughs> yeah. And, like, if you win, like, most of the time, like, I, I, if I'm correct, like on the JLPG and the KLPG, you get like really nice cars, like Benz. Um, I heard that you can get like a McLaren. Like it's just high end like cars. So you're saying we should go play <laughs> KLPGA <laughs> and JP JLPGA right now while everything's and then, going on. And then we could be like, can you ship that car? <laughs> Can you transfer <laughs> that apartment to Massachusetts? <laughs> KOPJ is starting in two weeks, less than two weeks. So okay. what you're saying is we should go over there and, and ask for a sponsor food. exemption. Get <laughs> some bomb food. So advice. What are some, what's some advice you would give to kids that are just starting out playing? Have fun. Um, 
to not give up. I think, like, even, like, till now, like, there are times where, like, things can get really tough. But, and I've, I've, even, I've even experienced it a couple times. And those are the times where I'm grateful that I kept continuing, um, you know, kind of push through it. So I think, like, not giving up until you're not going to regret quitting. Like, I want, like, kind of being like satisfied with the work you've done before you quit. That's how I, like I feel with, that, with the guitar right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. You're like three, you're like three days in. I hope. Um, I know. Yeah. Don't give up. I want to see how, the, how long this lasts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what's, what's some advice you to give to parents? Be patient, man. <laughs> Definitely be patient and very supportive. I think being supportive, but also mm, kind of having fun with the kids. Like, you know, kind of teaching the balance of, you know, hard work, but not, you know, getting too burnt out at the same time. So, like, learning that, you know, breaks are okay um, and is needed. But also, hard work is very important, and I think finding that balance is very important. What are some drills that both of you like to work on at the course? How about like one putting drill, one short game drill, and one range drill? Um, for putting drill, I like to put tees. So like instead of using like a like a board against like a putter. I like to put like six T's, so like two, two, two. And then it kind of makes me like visualize like what my tendencies are and it gives me really good feedback without like relying on like a fixed, like on a board. Mm -hmm. um, so I can visualize a little bit better. Um, for short game, a ladder drill is pretty helpful. The ladder drill is pretty helpful. Um, and for swing, I think just whatever you're working on. Well, like, so for me, I like to do what Andy does. I like to put tees down um, also. But, if, like, I'm working on kind of gaining confidence on the short putts. I'll put, like, tees in a circle around and, like, try to make them all in a row. Uh, maybe, like, five feet away from each other and just kind of work on the stroke. And if I don't make it all in a row, then you start over. And I'll do like six T's, maybe eight T's, depending on uh, how much time I have. Mm -hmm. For short game, like from um, like inside 100 yards, I like to do like 10 yard increments of like a spot where I like to like, land it. Um, so like, for me, like I start at, like a 50 yard and then I'll go up to 100. Um, just like kind of making sure like I get my carry distances down. And then for like... Uh, a full shot. I do a lot of like half quarter shots just to like engrave the motion of the swing rather than really focusing on like hitting the ball. Mm. So I like to do that a lot. I do like that too. Like I like to like pause at the top of my swing, um, like Hideki, mm -hmm. and it's actually like pretty hard. It's, <laughs> it's not <solid>. easy <laughs> um, because when you're under pressure, like I tend to get kind of quick with my swing so like it'd be really tough for me to do like the pausing at the top because I would just like my timing would be off but it really helps like when I'm coming over the top and I'm trying to just get more on plane like pausing at the top actually helps because it slows down everything so it's definitely helps for me. I got you so you guys I know it seems pretty, it's probably very common, or you don't even think about it, but you guys use um, alignment sticks? I use alignment sticks. Yeah. Um, you have like a ratio that you'll, little like half, half your shots in the range, less than half, a quarter, like. I'd say majority of my shots, um, I use an alignment stick, except for when I get to like the hybrids and up. Yeah, me too. Um. Like it's just like a little aid to like make sure I'm online for me. 
Yeah, I think um, going back to like the basic fundamentals, like aiming is so important. Like I realize like my, like sometimes even with putting, like if I'm not aimed correctly, I compensate to get it to my target. So if I'm in like, su like super left or super right, like I'll make it to go towards the target and like start having like swing problems through that. So I definitely think aiming is very important. Um, but I also like to put like alignments for like shot shaping. So like putting um, like alignments to like a couple yards um, ahead and then just trying, trying to visualize the ball going around the, the alignment stick really does help. Whenever I was, let's see, I was really more self-taught. Like I learned a little bit when I was really, really young, but then I played baseball. So I didn't really play golf for like more than 10 years. Then I played again. Yeah. Then I got hooked on it. And I was playing a lot and then I it was all self-taught. And then I started taking a few lessons and it was like, you just need to get some alignment sticks. Cause that was one of my biggest issues. I mean, I have several issues, you know, I'm not amazing at golf. I'm pretty good. But alignment was just such a simple thing. Like I, I would not consistently line up like I should. So it's just funny because I, I wasn't, I was 17, I was 18, maybe 18 or 19 before I ever even touched an alignment stick which is kind of interesting it's very easy to to use it so yeah. you guys have if you have 30 minutes to practice where are you going to practice uh just 30 minutes like before a round mm, just after like, a round so pretend like you have a nine to five job and dinner's at six o'clock but you have to be home like the rest of the family but you want to stop the golf course, so you have 30 minutes to practice. Um, I guess for me, it would depend on the mood. <laughs> yeah, I, for like, me, I like to spend... I yeah, go ahead. No, you go. <laughs> oh, I was just going to say, I like to spend most of my time on the range because, you know, I'm getting old and it takes me a long time to warm up. So technically, like, it takes me, like, 20 minutes to do a full actual warm-up and then I start practicing <laughs> so I think I'd spend like 20 to 25 minutes or 20 minutes on the range and then 10 minutes for putting or even five minutes for putting I don't know what I do I really don't it, like, I mean, you actually do sometimes do 30 minutes that's why I'm like <laughs> I don't know you like, know it's what pretty bad <laughs> whenever uh, at CME, whenever we, or not, whenever I played in the Pro-Am, you were in the group right behind me. So I think you were the second group off and I was the first group off. And I got there, I felt like I was kind of running late. And then I saw you get there after me. And then I was like, oh. And then I was like, is she even going to hit any balls at all? Like, I mean, it's early. I was like, you got to warm up a little bit because, <laughs> like, it's so early. I don't know. I was like, you know what? She's a professional. She knows what she's doing. Like, this isn't their first time. It was like seven fifteen, seven thirty. Yeah, no, I um, I actually have had like a thirty minute warm up before, cause like I'd overslept one time. Like my alarm didn't go off. I think this was in Asia too. Um, my alarm didn't go off. The next shuttle wasn't for like another like twenty minutes, and I was like running late. Kurt texted me like, "Where are you?" Um. And, like, I got there and I had, like, 40 minutes or, like, 50 minutes um, till tea time. And Kurt's, like, are we going to go straight to warm up? I was, like, no, no, no. Like, I need to eat. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. For me, I, like, warm up, like, like, after, like, a 9 to 5 job. It would just depend. Like, I'd probably do some, like, chipping and putting. I like that one. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm just I'm just agreeing it with whatever either of you say, but <laughs> I like I like both of your answers. They're good. All right, but thanks for letting everyone know I've had like 30 minute warm ups, Annie. <laughs> no, that's like how talented you are. Uh, yeah, how yeah. You are. Remember when uh, Rory missed his uh, got the time messed up at the right at the Ryder Cup? Mm-hmm. He got like course the special police escort or whatever to the golf course but he went straight to the first tee 
Mm-hmm. You know, I heard about that. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. But you know, like if I play, if I had to play just for practice, I got seven ten in the morning. I don't like, want You won't see me until seven o eight. That's <laughs> early. That is early. No, that's yeah. early for her. Seven o eight. It's normally like seven o nine. Yeah. Yeah. If you ask Amy or uh, Jen, like they'll tell you that sometimes they're worried that we're not going to show up. <laughs> or I'm not going to show up. <laughs> okay, I got a few quicker answer questions for you to wrap things up. Rapid fire. Semi, semi-rapid fire. There might be a tiny bit of elaboration, but... Um, well, first, okay, it's, it's kind of in between. What's your best round, each of you? I know Annie's, but... Eight under. Oh, me too. At Lotte, my rookie year. I thought you um, shot really low in Bahamas, too, in your rookie year. <laughs> no? Okay. Never mind. I just know Lotte had, like, ten birdies and two bogeys. Wow. 64 with two bogeys. Mm-hmm. My dad was so mad. He was like, could have been ten under. <laughs> So the question is, who's going to be the first to shoot 63? Probably Megan, because I'm barely practicing right now. That's my and partner, I folks. Up, I, picked up, I picked up guitars. So. That's my partner. See, this is, if people don't know me, I'm not a consistent player, but I will show up when I have to. <laughs> So, like, if I need to go super low, I will do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's what? pretty funny. <laughs> my, my coach, he was like, you know, I'm not worried about you. I mean, there are times where, you know, like, you're almost dead last in a, in a golf tournament, but then you're almost winning the next week. <laughs> so, I will show up when you need me, Megan. <laughs> Good to know. I mean... Yeah. Honestly, I believe you. I trust you. Thanks. Well, the facts the facts are there. Whenever you needed to, your your tour card was in the balance. You had a Monday qualify like Monday qualify at Medihill, right? Got in. Yeah. Played well. Got into Shoprite, or it got you helped you get better status mm-hmm. moving mm-hmm. forward. Yeah. You got it. You got it when you need to. Yeah. I don't know what it's like to shoot. Um, consistently. <laughs> I really don't think I know. I need to learn how to do that. It'll come. It'll come. Yeah, Annie, you know how to do it, you liar. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're not giving yourself enough credit. Okay. <laughs> What's your best birdie streak? Five in a row? I mean... I might say seven. Seven. I might say seven. Was that, dur- was that during one of your rounds of sixty-four? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that was my first eight under. I think I did seven birdies in a row. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Locked in. Damn. So I know we've talked about superstitions before, but do you guys have any team superstitions? Was there any, like, when you guys were paired up? No. Oh, you know what? I guess, like, marking the ball. Like, I like to have a red dot on my ball. So if I don't see it, I feel a little uneasy. (laughs) So I made Annie have a line on the ball, and then she said, as long as you have a red dot on the ball. I said, okay. (laughs) Yeah, I think it's like if I look at the ball because I don't use a line if I look at the ball like I feel like I'm hitting someone else's ball so I need to like see a red dot I'm like oh okay it's partially my ball too it was our child (laughs) we adopted it so you use sometimes we lost the child that's not good that's not good so we we had birdies in the back so it was a line, a line for Megan and a red dot for Annie. Mm-hmm. Okay. Compromise. So, 
a compromise. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just a few, who is more likely to questions. Okay. So <laughs> who is more likely to be late? Annie. Yeah. <laughs> Who yeah. is more likely to forget something? Me. Yeah, yeah Annie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, but I will say, though, being late, I am always on time or early for food. Like, if we <laughs> had a time, no, I'm just serious. Like, okay. we were meeting up for dinner, like, I am not. That is actually one of my pet peeves, to be, like, to be ironic. Like, if I had a reservation and I made it and you show up to a different restaurant or you show up late, She's I'm pissed. a little irritated. <laughs> like, don't expect me to wait to order food without you. She's done it before. <laughs> I've done it a lot. Guilty. Wow. But, but it's not like, I wouldn't say, okay, I take that out. I wouldn't be irritated. I just will, I don't have shame ordering first. I have no shame. I feel and you. Yeah. Okay, to be fair, I forget a lot of things, but it's only when between me and Kurt. <laughs> like, I forget to pack snacks, so I, like, mooch off of him. Okay. No. I do... I want to call out Annie, though, because, you know... <laughs> you mean, like, scheduling? <laughs> you, you know... <laughs> um, <laughs> this was in his notes the whole time. No, she just brings oh. it up like, I will not be late for food. If there's a reservation, you know what tea times are also called? <laughs> <laughs> tea <time>. Reservations. <laughs> I don't show up, like, I don't show up late mm -hmm. and miss my tea mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. I cancel it. I'm not going to show up. <laughs> Yeah, but when when do you cancel it? Like when the pro shop opens. Okay. So like ten minutes before. <laughs> oh my. Okay, no problem. I, I just want. Say, I I I don't think. Actually, though, I think that's my pet peeve. Like being late. It's my pet peeve. Even though you're the most likely to be late. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, most likely to be late because if anything, I probably would sleep in and probably miss my alarm. Okay. That is very likely to happen to me. All right, fair enough. We're good. I just wanted to get so a little I, bit of I agree time. to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Who is more likely to spontaneously get a tattoo? I want another one. Yeah, can we can we not answer that question? Did you get another one? Okay. okay. No. Did you? Oh. No. But we're both spontaneous <laughs> about anything, <laughs> whether that's buying something. Buying's like, totally no. you. No. So not true. Who bought a guitar? Because I wanted it. Spontaneous. Okay. When we went shopping in Palm Springs, you were like, I'll get one if you get one. And I felt no. guilty, so I was like, okay, I'll get I, it said, I said, I've been wanting a ring. And then you were like, I said, I've been wanting a ring. And then you were like, ooh, let's go to Tiffany. And I was like, okay, like, let's go. And then you're like, ooh. And I was like, I don't know if I'm going to get it. And you're like, oh. and I was like, okay, I'll get one if you get one. You guilt tripped me. Oh. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Wait, but I will say, we're, we're both spontaneous, and I don't think we've ever disagreed. No. And it's like, it's not like a bad spontaneous. Right. It's like an adrenaline spontaneous. Oh, wait, I just thought, okay, when you guys were in New Zealand, you both went up and did that. <laughs> oh. That? I have the pictures. I, I put them up. Yeah, me too. Yeah, whose idea was that? Annie's. No, it was not. <laughs> it was so not. Because I was scared. Because Annie heights. doesn't like heights. <laughs> oh my god, excuse my language. I am scared of my It was my idea. Can you, ex can you explain what it is? Wait, what, what it is you did? 
So like they strap you in like this little jumpsuit and everything and then you just walk around the building. See, but the thing is I wanted to jump off the building. Um, but Annie said she wouldn't jump off the building with me because like there was another portion that you could jump off. Oh my but Annie said she wouldn't, but she said she'd walk around the building with me. Look, I'm not the type, when someone tells me to jump off the building, I'm not going to jump off with you. <laughs> I, I wanted to you. jump off. <laughs> but like, this is very tall, very tall building. Yeah, it in was. In New Zealand. Uh, How, the, like, the do you remember? One. The tallest was, one. In I, think, I think it was called a Skywalker. Or Skywalker? Yeah, it was something like that. Oh so like goodness. it was it was like glass right underneath no it was like just oh, no, 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 no. Was... like drain looking type oh yeah and then we had to like be on the edge and, and then, like you like, lean back out. on it oh. and then like you you jump like you kind of push off and it was so much fun so much fun oh my goodness it was very scary. but i'm impressed annie that you still you did still do it so i guess you guys do agree on <laughs> it was fun for me I wanted to jump. She said no, but she said she'll walk around if I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who is more likely to work out when jet lag hits? Dan. <laughs> who's my who's my, who's more likely to sleep after a jet lag? Both of Annie. us. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean I could sleep anywhere, but working out like it's here or there. I'll do it if there's nothing to do. <laughs> but like, you want to go to the pool? Yeah, I'll go to the pool before the gym. You want to check out restaurants nearby? Yeah, I, I'll yeah. walk. You want to go walk the, the mall? Yeah, let's go do that. Yeah. Hey, are you hungry? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yep. Okay. Speaking of food, who's more likely to offer to pay for dinner first? Oh. We fight. It's, yeah, it's like, <laughs> we both are just, it's a sore subject. Yeah, it's not a cat fight. It's like a kangaroo punch fight. It's like, yeah. Um, put it this way, one time, was Australia, we were fighting to pay, and the woman behind us was like, can you just pay already? <laughs> yeah, she was annoyed with us. She was annoyed with us, because we were like fighting to pay. Yeah, that was really bad. Oh, we forgot about Australia. Australia is a great place to eat. Oh, yeah. Really yeah. good coffee. Really good. Really good food. Um, but yeah, we fight all the time. Like, to a point where she blocked me on Venmo. Oh. You blocked me on Venmo, too? No, I, I unblocked you because you blocked me. Just so I can block you. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> okay, wait. So is this arguing about who like the person that wants to pay or are <laughs> arguing about who doesn't pay. doesn't want to pay <laughs> it's who how wants funny to would pay it be? how okay. funny would it be if we were fighting not to pay <laughs> you pay <laughs> no you pay no uh, you pay, pay. we're gonna sound like so stingy <laughs> no if if that was how it is but you're fighting to, to see who because you want to pay for it yeah yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's good friends. You're good friends. No, oh you God. pay. <laughs> I don't want to do you pay. I bought you that dollar dollar candy bar. <laughs> you pay now. <laughs> <laughs> I pay for your air tires and then it's like fifty cents. <laughs> I got you a gumball from the machine. You pay. I gave you a golf ball when you needed one. <laughs> I let you use my Sharpie. <laughs> oh, man. We should really do that. <laughs> oh, Just as a joke. Okay, so to wrap things up, what are you guys looking forward to most about returning to the tour whenever things can you know, get started again? I think seeing everyone and getting to compete again. I missed, like, playing against everyone. Yeah, I miss, I kind of miss traveling. I thought I would never say that because I was um, so like, I was just sick of planes, like just been traveling and stuff. And then like just being at home, it's nice, but I kind of miss my natural element. <laughs> like, 
traveling traveling like this is not my natural habitat <laughs> like living out of a suitcase yeah like playing a guitar like cooking <laughs> you know i love how i told them i'd be playing golf with them and then we're almost done oh shoot <laughs> i played like seven holes oh no i i i'd rather do this right now <laughs> than be golfing <laughs> wait who's oh. playing tired hmm? who's playing um, so Dave is my partner. We were one up until I stopped playing, so I have no idea where he's at, and I don't know why he's in the bush. <gasps> you want to see where he's at right now? Let's see. So this is my partner in that tree, and <laughs> the pin is right there. So I'm going to ask him why he's over there. And then we're playing against um, his coach and his coach's friend that we beat last time so they wanted revenge um, but it doesn't look like we're winning right now <laughs> so we're gonna have to see how many holes yeah. are left can we get back can we get you back in the match oh yeah for sure like okay oh yeah for sure uh if he loses he can pay for my uh my loss fee <laughs> so. yeah, but we deal. were doing pretty good mm -hmm. You were winning until you weren't until you weren't playing. So, you did your part that you could. I, I did my part and I lost. <laughs> <laughs> and you stayed out of the grass because you're allergic to the grass. <laughs> oh yeah. Did you, <laughs> so did you know I'm actually allergic to grass, trees, and sun? <laughs> what? Yeah, that's why my allergies are really bad. <laughs> what? And yeah, she hates so walking. Like, no, How is she in this sport? How is she in this sport? How are you sport? allergic to grass? Yeah, I'm allergic. My family's allergic to grass, actually. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, guys. Annie, I'll let you get back to your match. I appreciate you spending some time talking, walking, okay. talking. Megan, I also appreciate you taking some time. Representing Boston out there. Yeah. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how much editing I have to do this time, but. Um, well, <laughs> yeah, let's let's definitely leave in the people's magnet then. <laughs> I thought you would have forgotten about that by now. Oh, no, Maybe no, you no. should get a dog so you can attract people. <gasps> Shots fired. Pew, 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 pew. So, she shot him. So, thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> I appreciate you guys. We'll talk again soon. Alrighty. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for listening to episode one of Pitching It with Ben. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, rate, and comment. See you on episode two.